good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are. My name is Kevin Doe here with Equip Board. Today, I will be doing a review and demonstration of this One Knob Wonder. The pedal that I'm holding here is the MXR Micro Amp Pedal, a pedal that allows you to add a preset amount of gain to your signal when needed. As far as controls go, it really doesn't get easier than this, folks. We have one knob marked gain, which controls the amount of gain this pedal spits out, up to 26 decibels of it. We also have true bypass switching. The pedal can be powered by either a nine volt adapter jack, DC, anything appropriate for guitar pedals will do. Or if you are so inclined, you can unscrew the back plate and find the battery clip. Now you're probably asking yourself, what can I do with a pedal that only spits out up to 26 decibels of gain? Well, it turns out you can do quite a bit. If you're the type of player who uses multiple guitars during a gig and the pickups have different output values, one's quieter, one's louder, put this pedal at the front of your board and use the gain knob to match the quieter guitar's output to the louder guitar. This way your gain structure remains intact and both guitars will hit the amplifier with the same amount of juice. Put this in front of an overdrive pedal and you can use it to actually boost the amount of gain that an overdrive pedal will spit out, slamming the front end of it harder than your guitar would. You can also put this after your gain as a clean lead boost, making things a little bit louder while not necessarily adding more distortion to your signal. And if you're the kind of player who likes to use amplifier distortion, and want something just to bring things up for a lead while not necessarily adding more distortion, simply add this into your effects loop and it'll act as a clean boost, turning things up without making things more raunchy. Let's say you're the type of player who has a very large pedal board and notices a bit of signal degradation at the end of it before hitting your amplifier. Use this at the end of the pedal board to bring up the overall level before it hits your amplifier. Talk about versatility and all of this out of a pedal with just one knob. So enough jibber jabber for me, let's hear how this pedal sounds. For this demonstration, I'll be using my René Roy custom electric guitar. Amp sounds will be provided courtesy my UA Dream 65 pedal. And the room ambience that you will be hearing will be coming from the Brainworks Room plugin from Plugin Alliance. For this demonstration, I will also be using this pedal two ways. I will be using this firstly as a boost pedal, going straight into the UA Dream 65. Simulating what this pedal will do going into an edge of breakup amplifier, increasing the overall volume, as well as the overall amount of gain coming out of the amplifier. So we'll be getting quite a bit of amp distortion happening as I turn this pedal up. For the second demonstration, I'll be using this pedal in front of my Jackson Audio Broken Arrow turned on, simulating how you can use this pedal to increase the overall amount of gain produced by an overdrive pedal.
this pedal for? Well, if you're the type of player who needs something for one of the situations that I described earlier, something to help match outputs between guitars, something to goose an overdrive pedal, something to boost your overall volume, something to help boost a fairly large pedal board, this is definitely a good choice. With 26 decibels of gain, you surely will not be short of any volume on tap. And let's face it, who doesn't like a very simple pedal that features just one true bypass switch and a gain knob? Sometimes that's all you need. Now, one minor gripe that I do have about this pedal is that the battery compartment is not easily accessible. So if you're the type of player who likes to run gain pedals and boost pedals on batteries as opposed to nine volt DC power, you'll need to have a screwdriver handy and some pretty fast hands if you need to change a battery in the middle of the gig, having to unscrew the back plate to replace the battery. This would be a much different scenario than say with a boss pedal where you simply need to unscrew with your thumb, a small screw, lift up the plate and access the battery immediately without having to take your pedal board apart. For many players, this is probably not a deal breaker, especially if you run all your pedals off of power supply. But just keep that in mind if you are the type of player who prefers batteries. So if you've enjoyed our video, why not give it a like? Do share it with your boost pedal loving friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you do, or you're already subscribed, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified of new videos the second they become available. We really hope you've enjoyed this review and demonstration of the MXR micro amp boost pedal. Once again, my name is Kevin Doe for Equipboard. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.